What's up YouTube? Speed Fisherman here with another tutorial video. So on this channel I like to be able to do tutorials or either um, highlights from the stream over the weekend that we put. Um, but today is going to be a tutorial on how to set up your voice meter banana or uh, voice meter potato, whichever one you prefer. The difference between the two is voice meter banana has three inputs while the voice meter potato has five inputs um so let's jump over to the uh voice meter potato and let you see what it looks like and then we'll talk about how to set it up and get it ready for your stream all right so check it out Okay, so for voice meter potato, this is what it looks like. This is the five inputs I was talking about. But before we jump into the voice meter potato, let's go ahead and do some pre-setting up before we get this far. Um, and then we'll get into the voice meter potato and see how it sets it up. And I'll also show you how to get it set up into your Streamlabs OBS as well. Um, so first off, what you want to do is you want to go to this site. It's uh, vbaudio.com. And this is where you'll get the download for the voice meter banana, voice meter potato. So if you go to audio apps and then you have the voice meter banana and voice meter potato tabs right here down below them you'll see the download install uh, it'll come in a zip file make sure you open that zip file right click on the ex executable file run as administrator and then get that download another thing you're probably going to want to look at getting is the virtual audio cables so you can get cable a b c and d now keep in mind that the voice meter potato and voice meter banana they already come with one virtual cable but if you're going to put stuff in your voice meter, such as Discord, you know, Spotify, the web audio, uh, your game audio, um, then you're going to need more than just that one cable. So you just need to determine how many cables you're actually going to need. Uh, I think the most you can get is five. I haven't seen any of any more than that, which is not going to hold any more than that. Um, because the highest one is the voice meter potato which only holds the five input devices if you need more than five then this software is not going to work for you um, so what you're going to do is if uh, for the a and b cable that comes in a package and then c and d cable come in a package i think it's like five to seven bucks to do a donation to them that's the way that you get them you'll register with your email address you'll donate the five to seven bucks they'll send you an email with the downloadable uh, file It'll come in a zip file just like the voice meter banana and potato. Um, you save that zip file to your desktop. You open it up. You'll find that executable file. You right click run as administrator and then install it. So once you have the cables installed and whichever voice meter you decided to go with between the two, you're going to uh, come down here to your speaker. You're going to right click. You're going to open up the open sound settings. Now make sure you open this up wide all the way. That way you can see your sound control panel. If you're on Windows 10, if you haven't minimized like this, you're not gonna see. Uh, you have to scroll all the way down to see the sound control panel. Um, so it's up to you. I like to have mine open. That way it's all right here on the right hand side. You click on that and it's gonna open up this box right here. So you got your playback and your recording. So for your playback down here down at the bottom, the way I have mine set up, which is the simplified way, I don't go into the crazy using the aux, the input, the VAO input. I have mine set one simple way. And I go to the voice meter input VAO. I have that set to my default. It's the default for my audio and it's the default for my communications device. Now for the recordings over here, scroll all the way down. I have the voice meter VAIO set up as well as my default as well. So back at the playback, as you notice as we were scrolling down, or you probably notice, here are our virtual cables from VV Audio. So it, here's the A, B, C, D, and the one that you get for free that comes with the voice meter. Now I use the A, B, and C. Those are the only ones I've used. I use A for the Discord, B for Spotify, C for the web browser if I'm going on YouTube, and then my default audio is going to be my game, um, that I, whatever I'm playing that day. So to change the titles here, if you right click and go to properties, um, you'll be able to input the name right here and then you hit apply, hit OK, and then that sets the name. So go ahead and pause this video, set your cables up how you want to have them set up and uh, hit, hit the play button when you're ready to continue. 
So down here at the bottom, another thing we want to go ahead and set up is our app volume and device preferences. So when we go in here, if you look over, I have Spotify and I have Discord. Right now, I closed the browser so you don't see my Chrome uh, browser in here. Um, it goes by based off what you have open right now. I have my sound system settings, which is going to be my game audio, set to the default. And then my Spotify is set to that Spotify cable that I selected. I selected B for my Spotify. And Discord is going to be my cable A, which as you see here, Discord VB audio cable A. And then, like I said, if my browser was here, you would see cable C for the, for the browser. Um, these are automatically going to be set because we just did those in the sound settings control panel. So we can close out of this. And then here we are in Voice Media Potato. So the first thing you want to do once you get in here is you want to click on A1. And you want to select your audio um, that's, uh, that's going to be coming out. I have mine select for the speaker for A1. Now, being that my headset is connected to an adapter and then plugged into my PC, my PC doesn't pick up that I actually am using a headset right now. But if it did, but if I plug my headset directly into the PC, it would pick up the headset, and I could set my A2 to um, the the headset. But right now, I, I just selected the cable. Whenever I go to use that cable, I'll place it over here, and then I'll I'll select something else for my AT, or I can remove that device setting, um, which removes it from the A2. So right now, A1 is the only thing that I'm using um, for my audio, which is my speaker. But like I said. My computer doesn't pick up that I'm actually using a headset, so my audio is coming through the headset. So up here at the top, here's your input devices. So if you right click on these, you can name them how you want to name them and then hit enter. So go ahead and take this time if you need to pause the video and go ahead and name the top uh, input devices that you're going to use. Now, so once we have them named, we're going to left click on them and then we're going to select which uh, driver that we're going to use these are actually drivers that you'll be using um, some people say that you know if they use the WDM driver it makes them sound like an alien so they go down and select a different driver um, and whichever driver they want to use so I select my Yeti stereo microphone for my discord I select a cable a because that's what I have discord set up as as you had saw previously same thing for Spotify and my browser now down here this is where you have to set it up based off your voice. Um, everybody has a, a different voice, so you have to see what works for you. If you click on A1, you'll be able to hear yourself through your headset or speakers. And then your, your gate right here, <clears throat> the higher you set it, it's the louder you have to be to pick up your voice. What this is intended to do is if you have your microphone off your desk, it it makes it to where you have to type uh, when you type on your keyboard you don't hear those keys that you're typing if you have it set really low you'll hear those keys so you have to find that certain number that you'll get to to where you don't hear the keys or you don't hear the clicking of your mouse or the banging on your desk um, so that's what that's for the comp is for the echo so if somebody that has a lot really light voice um, they can put more of a tone to it if they wanted to, and that's what that's for. Um, so if I unclick A1, I don't hear myself anymore. I have the B1 set, which is the B1 over here. You can see is my microphone, um, also the, the fader gain, so you can adjust that up and down however you want to. And then the rest of these here are just going to be on A1 whenever I go to play something. So the way this, this software is meant to be is if, if you're streaming and you have your Spotify volume in Spotify set to a low level, your stream can hear that while also hearing your gameplay. Now, if the Spotify is playing music, your stream can hear it, but if you don't want to hear it, then if you come to your Spotify tab and you turn tone it all the way down to where you don't hear it, that way it doesn't mess up your gameplay when you're gaming. So, let me pull up Spotify. And I'll, I'll play something. We'll, we'll play this right here. Actually, you can't even hear it yet because I don't even have it set up in OBS yet. So, let's actually jump into Discord first and set it up in there. And then we'll jump over to the uh, Spotify. So, in Discord, you want to go to voice, voice and video settings. For the input, like I said, we have set ours 
um, it actually should be on VAIO, voice meter output VIO, because that's what we set it up in our settings. And for the Discord, we're going to set it up as the cable A because that's what we use. And so now in my Discord, you can see that whenever I go into it, you can see the little green circle here moving, so you know that it's working. And you can and now we go into Streamlabs OBS. So I'll pull this over. And here's where you'll see that the microphone is moving when I'm talking. So let's go down over here to the plus sign in our sources. And let's go ahead and add our output uh, audio output capture. So we hit add source. Mine's already set for Spotify, but I'll do one quick one to show you how it's set up. So right here we'll do, we'll say Discord. Discord, you'll hit add source in devices. You click on the device that you want. And for Discord, or should say Discord in here somewhere right here, Discord cable A, we'll select it, we'll hit done. And now my Discord's there. So if I were to bring Discord back up and I join into a, you hear it, see it move? And then when I leave out the chat, you see it leave out the chat. And let's do the same thing for Spotify. So if we go into Spotify, we hit add capture device, add source. And it's the same process that I just done a while ago is if you click on it or you hit add new source, um, you'll go in there, you'll select the Spotify cable and then that'll add your Spotify cable. So now we have Spotify here. So this here is for your stream. This volume is not going to affect what you play in your headset. This is for your stream audience's uh, volume. And also you can go into Spotify itself and change the volume in there in Spotify down here. And you can set that level that you want to for your stream. That's not going to affect you. Now that will affect you, but you can turn yours up and down. Um, so let, like, let's see, let's play something so you can hear it here and on my end, I can see it right here in Spotify. I can turn it up on my end, but it's still going to be the same at your end. And just like if I turn it down on my end, it should still play the same normal level right there for y'all. So my level doesn't affect your level, um, for the audio sound. Now, if I come in, in here and I tone this down. So I just toned down the music for y'all, but I didn't tone down the music for myself. Uh, so that's what the, the software is meant to do is to be able to change that, that audio level between the two so that, you know, if you want your stream to hear that music, but you don't, you can. Um, it's good software. Like I said, I think, uh, now keep in mind with the voice meter potato, it is going to come up with a little timer up here for like six hours. But you can defer that six hours once the six hours is up and can, and you'll get another six hours. Now, if you want that timer to go away, you can donate like 10 bucks, I think is the minimum. Uh, they'll send you a code. You input that code to register the software and then you don't have to worry about that timer anymore. And like I said, same thing for those virtual cables. They're about five to seven bucks a piece for the, you know, five, to seven bucks for A and B and then five, to seven bucks for C and D. So all in all, you can spend 25 bucks and get all four virtual cables and the voice meter potato or banana. Um, my thing is, is go ahead and get the potato if you're going to do the donation instead of getting the banana. Um, that way you'll automatically have those five input devices. Um, and it doesn't hurt to donate. It doesn't hurt to donate to that, you know, that company that, that made this program because they made it, you know, for people that don't have like Go XLRs and stuff like that and spent, you know, four or 500 bucks for one of those, it makes it where we can adjust our volume as well, um, which is a good thing. Um, but that's it. That's pretty much how uh, how simplified I got it. Now, I don't do anything with the, the Aux or VO3. Uh, if you want to, you can set your um, communications in your Windows settings to the Aux, and then that allows you to control the... Um, the microphone uh, communication uh, sound in your in your system to if you, that way you don't bother with like your Spotify sound or your game sound. So you can set these up to where you know this will be like your communication sound. This will be your music if you wanted to have like a different sound or come that way you don't affect these channels. And this is what this is: is channels like the Discord goes across all three, but this is the one that it falls under. But if I want to Spotify over here, then I would set it to VAIO3 in the settings for music and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, I wanted to keep this quick, easy, and simple. 
I didn't want to confuse anybody or make it so too complicated. Um, I, it was really a headache when I first tried to figure this out. Um, but now that I mean, like I said, that's a simplified version. Um, I like to keep it simple and to the point. I appreciate y'all watching this tutorial. If you would please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to see more tutorials or a different tutorial, let me know down in the comments. Um, also, in the description, check out my uh, link to my Twitch channel. I uh, stream on Fridays and Saturdays. It could be anything from gaming or we're just talking about doing tutorials or, you know, messing with software or something like that. So check that out. Um, hope y'all have a blessed day. Peace and love.